Welcome everyone to Next Giant Leap Lunar Robo Activity, sponsored by the Challenger Center and the Math Science Innovation Center here in Richmond, Virginia. Well, this activity, students will use a tablet-based app to assemble and program a rover to navigate and connect experiments on the surface of the moon. So what we're going to do in this video is to kind of take you step by step through the activity and so you will be up and running when you get started. Now, a couple of things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a tablet. Now, it can be an Android or an iPad. Uh, and you're going to need the Challenger Rover uh, app. So, now we're going to start off uh, with the Android app because that's what I have handy to work with today. So, we start off and we are going to go to the App Store. And we come down and you see the Challenger Rover app. Now I'm saying it's already installed because I had to put it in the tablet a little bit earlier. So we're going to come off of that. And you see right in the center of the screen, you see the app. We'll go ahead and touch that. And the app is running. All right, and there it is, the Challenger Rover app. And we're going to start off, so it should be installed in your device. Now, what's going to happen here? Students will assemble the digital rover, and they're going to be given a set of specifications. They will then use the block coding to program the rotor, rover to navigate the surface of the moon uh, to a designated location. Now, students will also program the rover to conduct uh, experiments and gather moon data. Okay, so let's go ahead and open our first mission. So we're going to click on that and you'll see it load our first mission. And now we have a choice. Do we want to go to the moon or do we want to go to Mars? So we're going to start off on this mission uh, to go to the moon because this is Lunar Engagement Day. So we're going to start off on the lunar surface and build our rover and go ahead and do some collect some scientific data there first. So you'll be able to read your mission. And in this case, uh, the Lunar Exploration, Exploration Rover is to explore the lunar surface. It's going to take pictures of the terrain. They're going to find the best vantage point uh, on the surface, but before that can happen, they must assemble the rover's wheels, camera, deployment arm, has cam, and pan cam. And once uh, this is successfully done, then you program the rover to navigate uh, using its arm and pan camera. Uh, the camera deployment, you can rotate the camera to record the entire landscape and take picture pictures of the terrain. First step, let's go ahead and hit assembly. Okay, now we're looking there and let's start off. Well, let's see, let's come over and take a look at our mission objective. Said, so, well, we're gonna assemble the rover with the necessary equipment to complete our mission. So we're gonna need wheels, uh, capable of transporting the rover great distances on the surface. Uh, we're going to need a camera deployment arm, and we're going to need a pan camera in order to make this happen. So let's come over and grab our large chassis. We're going to drag it over and drop it in. All right, first step, we're going to need some wheels. So come over, now we can scroll past and kind of get the wheels that we need. So we're looking for wheels that can cover the greatest distance. Ah, distance wheels. Let's grab them, bring them over, drop them in. All right, our rover now has wheels. All right, our next step, we need a camera deployment arm. So we hit here. 
Well, before we get there, we have to have a power system of some type to get our rover up and moving. So let's do let's do solar panel array. We're going to drag that over and drop it in, and that's going to get our rover some solar power to conduct future missions. We're going to scroll up a little bit. Now we need that camera arm, that camera deployment arm. And let's tap there. Camera arm is the default arm. Let's go through and see what else we have. Okay, that's all we have here. We're going to drag that and drop that in place. And now we have our camera deployment arm. Let's scroll up for our next step. All right, so let's go ahead and tab through there. That's our scanner pan camera. We do need that. Let's grab it. Pull it on over. Ah, just dropped into place. Okay, with everything installed, we come up to the top of the screen and go ahead and hit the finish button. Now we're ready to start our mission. So we're going to come over to the lower right hand corner and push the program mission button. All right, so now our data is uploading to our rover. And then we'll start actually implementing our mission. And our rover is alive. Okay, so it has its location on the screen. And now we see our data screen coming up. Uh, we don't have any sensors. There are our objectives. Uh, we have already assembled our rover necessary equipment to complete the mission, so that's done. Uh, now we're going to have to program the robot to navigate, and it gives us a longitude and latitude on the, on the lunar surface. And we must program the pan camera to take some photos at about a 45 degree uh, interval. Okay, now that we have gotten into the programming screen, all right, so you go up to the upper left hand corner. Let's, let's, uh, if you look. At your screen, you'll see your map to your to your right, showing the location, and you'll see on the left where our target location is, which is going to be ideal for us to capture the imagery that we need. So now we got a program. We have to tell the rover what to do. So we come up to the upper left-hand corner, and we click on Move. It opens up a box there. We have four commands. Let's get it to move forward. So we'll just drop it in. That's our full program. Now it's going to tell us how far. So we click on it. And let's see. Let's get it to go about 10 meters. So we put that. And let's get it to make a left hand turn. So we're going to go grab left. And drop it in. And let's get it to go about 20 meters. There. Put that in. Okay. So once we get there. And we go left. Uh, now. We want to send another command. So let's go up to the cam button up top. And we do have our pan cam for photos. And we're able to grab that and drop that in our program box. Now we want to tell it what direction to turn. So let's have it turn 90. Well, let's have it do 45 degrees. Okay, and how many pictures do we need? We'll click on that until it take about two pictures. Okay. So that's our first command. So we're going to have it move, turn left, and take a couple pictures, and uh, then we'll go from there. Now we don't have any sensors set up yet, so we can't do any of that. So we come down to the bottom of the screen and tell it to execute. Whoa, there it goes. All right, it's making that left hand turn that we wanted to make. And it took an image. And that's how you do it. So you simply reach up to that toolbar, tell it to move whatever sensors you wanted to capture information with, uh, movement, and you use your map by touching your map here, and it'll show you where you need to go uh, and where you are, and you program it from there. You can zoom in, um, you can zoom out on your map, and you can put as many commands as will fit into the command window. 
perfect. Let's try one more time. Now let's go to move. All right, this time let's tell it to go. Let's tell it to go back, and we're going to get it to go back. Let's see, 20 meters, and then we're going to go up. And tell it to make a right hand turn, and let it go another 20 meters, and let's go hit execute. All right, so there it goes on the lunar surface making that turn okay now it seems like once you t once it makes the turn then you have to tell it to travel so we need, really need another step in there alright but uh, let's go ahead and do that let's get it to move forward and let's get it to go about 50 meters we're going to cover some territory this time we're going to get it to make a left hand turn all right. Once it makes its left hand turn, we're going to go back, tell it to go forward again, and get it to go another 25 meters, and execute. So there we go. Across the rugged lunar surface. Now we sent it to go 50 meters this time. Oh, it ran into an obstruction. So we're going to have to send a series of commands and get it out of there. Well, thanks for trying out our Challenger Rover app. Uh, this has been Nick's Giant Leap from the Challenger Learning Center here in Richmond, located at the Mass Science Innovation Center. And this has been Lunar Engagement Days. So get your iPad and your tablet out and run that mover on the moon and even Mars. Have a great day.